Greetings to all wisdom seekers. Today, we find ourselves at the crossroads of science and philosophy, in a realm where intellectual curiosity and the thirst for knowledge intertwine, where the wonders of existence and the mysteries of morality come together. We are about to embark on a journey through the labyrinth of philosophical thought, guided by the torch of evolutionary theory. As we traverse this path, we shall unearth the essence of evolutionary ethics, and the profound insights they offer on the nature of morality and human behavior. In this intellectual odyssey, we pose a central question. Can the principles of evolution inform our understanding of morality? Does the survival of the fittest cast a shadow on the essence of right and wrong? Our exploration begins with a deep dive into the heart of evolutionary ethics. This philosophical approach seeks to understand morality in light of evolution and natural selection. It posits that our moral inclinations are products of evolutionary processes, shaped over millennia to enhance survival and reproduction. The altruism we display, the empathy we feel, the fairness we seek, all these moral sentiments are seen as the fruits of nature's labor, designed to facilitate social cohesion and mutual cooperation. However, it's important to note that evolutionary ethics is not a moral system itself. It doesn't tell us what we ought to do, but rather it attempts to explain why we perceive certain actions as morally right or wrong. It seeks to understand the roots of our moral instincts, not to dictate our moral obligations. Evolutionary ethics also grapples with the question of moral relativism. If our moral sentiments are products of evolution, are they relative to the specific circumstances of our species' history? Could a different evolutionary path have led to a different set of moral values? This is a profound question that challenges our common assumption of universal moral truths. The voice that echoes loudest in this domain is undoubtedly that of Richard Dawkins, evolutionary biologist extraordinaire and the author of The Selfish Gene. Dawkins posits that our moral instincts are a result of gene-centered evolution. He argues that genes, in their quest for propagation, have shaped our behaviors and moral sentiments to enhance their own survival. He famously states, we are survival machines, robot vehicles blindly programmed to preserve the selfish molecules known as genes. However, Dawkins doesn't advocate for a morality based on selfishness. He argues that understanding our evolutionary roots can help us transcend them. He believes that we can, and should, challenge our genetic instincts to create a more compassionate and just society. In contrast, eminent philosopher Peter Singer brings a different perspective. He argues that our capacity for altruism, a product of evolution, can be extended beyond our close kin and tribe to all sentient beings. This forms the basis of his principle of equal consideration of interests, a cornerstone of his animal rights advocacy. Our journey through the realm of evolutionary ethics would be incomplete without a nod to its cultural reflections. Literature offers a profound testament to this philosophy, with novels like Lord of the Flies by William Golding, exploring the primal instinct and moral chaos that ensues when societal structures collapse. In the cinematic universe, films like The Matrix subtly probe the idea of evolution shaping morality, questioning whether our moral choices are truly free or contingent on our programming. Currently, the discourse on evolutionary ethics is rife with debates. Some argue that it fosters a deterministic view of human behavior, undermining the concept of free will. Others contend that it can be used to justify immoral acts under the guise of nature's way. These debates continue to stir intellectual storms, provoking us to question, reflect, and refine our understanding of morality. Understanding evolutionary ethics is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a vital endeavor in our quest to navigate the moral landscape of the 21st century. As we grapple with unprecedented challenges, from climate change to genetic engineering, the insights gleaned from this philosophy can guide our ethical deliberations, inform our moral choices, and shape our collective future. In our exploration of evolutionary ethics, we have ventured through the corridors of science and philosophy, 
contemplating profound questions and uncovering intriguing insights. We have seen how the forces of evolution have left their imprint on our moral instincts, shaping the landscape of our ethical consciousness. In the dance of genes and culture, we find the choreography of morality. I extend my gratitude to you, fellow seekers of wisdom, for joining me on this journey. Your engagement and thoughtfulness enrich our collective exploration and deepen our understanding of the world. As we part ways today, I leave you with a few questions to ponder. How does the understanding of our evolutionary roots influence your perception of morality? Can we truly transcend the instincts that have been shaped by millennia of evolution? How do we navigate the tension between our genetic inheritance and our moral aspirations? Until our next philosophical rendezvous, remember that the quest for knowledge is a journey, not a destination. Every question we ask, every insight we uncover, brings us one step closer to understanding the profound mystery of existence. Keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep the flame of curiosity burning bright. In the end, we are all stardust, bound by the laws of nature, yet endowed with the capacity to transcend them. It is this paradox that makes us human, that fuels our quest for knowledge, and that lends a touch of the divine to our mortal existence. Until our paths cross again in the realm of thought, farewell, and may your journey be filled with wisdom.